Hello everybody, welcome. Um, today's tutorial is how to make a digital planner in Canva and this time this tutorial will be all done in Canva. I know I've done other ones before um, and we needed to export every some stuff out of Canva but um, now Canva has a feature where you can link pages so we don't have to find another software. Everything is done in Canva and as you can see I have laid out all my pages already um, so I'll just teach you how to link the pages So if this is your first time making a digital planner, all you really need to do is have a cover page I like to do an index page or a home page and then a yearly um, calendar and then a monthly and then a weekly and I like to do these in order so that um, I can do more precise linking um, you can group your monthlies and weeklies together but then um, I also want to link the weeks so um, it's a little bit more work but really worth it when you're actually using it so I put out um, five weeks for each month and um, as you can see here uh, yeah they're all laid out already um, this one I can show you um, how I did it so uh, this is also my um, my tabs which you can't really see right now but um, maybe I'll change the color of it um, Yeah, so right now, um, this is the tabs for my planner. I am going to copy and paste it after because um, I want to get all the links on one before I spread them all out. And if there's an error, I would have to redo each of them. So I might as well just wait till the very end to copy it over. Um, so there's an icon for the home page, which is my index page, and then the calendar page, which is the um, yearly overview and uh, these grids I actually made from a new feature that Canva has which is um, the table feature um, it's great because before you would have to make each individual boxes which would be really annoying to make um, now they just kind of work like Excel sheets um, and you can make however big or small your table um, you want your table um, and then these layouts they were mostly built from um, templates so uh, if you have a free account I'm using the pro account but if you have a free account you can also look for templates you just have to search in planner here and you get a whole bunch of templates can see a lot of these are actually blocked by pro accounts so you can't really see it or use it um, but there are still a lot of templates I can use for free and then for the weekly layouts I just like to keep it simple um, and they're mostly just boxes and lines um, but I'm just building a skeleton so that I can customize it and um, make like my own theme afterwards um, so the most important part is actually getting the links ready so that's the hardest most time-consuming part and um, I'll take you through it because uh, it is the most important part of a digital planner so yeah I have all the pages ready and all I need to do is link it so I'm gonna link the annual page to each month first and I've done this one already and you can see I've linked it to January so it's also really important to link um, label these pages so then if you do go and link stuff then you can actually see what page you're linking to so I've done January February um, did I do March I didn't do March yet, so I'll do March and link it and you can also search for it, March. Don't 
And then once I'm done with this, I'll go and link these weeklies. These are gonna take quite a while, so um, I'll speed through those. So this week one will link to this week one page. So then you can each um, have a page for each week. So now that I have all the weeks linked already, I'm going to go back up here and do the tabs. So right now I have the months. So I'm going to go over and count the months to see that I got all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I am just going to align these. So that they look tidy. And then now it actually leaves me four um, separate tabs for notes or um, any other stuff so um, I can actually go in here um, and just put like one two three Four, five. Okay, there's actually five tabs. Okay, so this is all good. Um, the tabs are actually made just of um, the square or rectangular shapes and put on the side. So um, I'm going to link these into their own section. So I'll just go to the very bottom and make four blank pages. So this will just be that first one. So just remember I am making a template that I can edit after so it doesn't really matter what my style is like right now it's just that I have the foundations to customize in the future Okay, so now I will link those again. Now this is already 80 pages. It's pretty heavy duty for Canva, I guess. Um, but what's great is that once you're done here, you are done. You don't have to export it and use another um, software. So um, now I'll just link these. So this is this page, which I didn't name yet. So this is the home page. And this is the calendar page. And then down here, I need to name these ones, which is one, two, three, four, five. And then I can go back up here to link them. Okay. So after all the linking, what you want to do is to copy this and just paste it on all the pages. 
what you'll see is that the links will stay the same. It'll still link to January, even though you're moving it from page to page. But all that hard work has been done on that first page. And now you just need to duplicate it, knowing that there's nothing wrong with the linking. And this is how you are able to go to the same links on each page that you're on. Another um, tip is um, I would never use next page or previous page in linking because once you start adding pages, then those will get messed up because um, once you are adding, it just follow the next page that you're currently on. It will not remember the previous or um, previous or next page that you have. Um, so I would always link to the actual page so that it keeps that. Okay, so after pasting all these, what you want to do is to export. Um, and you can do that by coming here and just download. And you want to be in a PDF form and then we can test to see if all the links work properly. So now it's time to test the links and we'll just go through each one of them and see if they link to the right page. And they do, so they work. And then I can go in here and I've linked these ones so I can check. It goes to January and then I go to week one and week three and still January. Um, and you just need to do some of the checks yourself. Um, but they seem to be all working well and I'm just checking it in any PDF reader. Um, so whatever works on your computer um, yeah, so this concludes the tutorial. There's still a few things that I need to do, like add an index here. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. What um, I would usually do is just add a few blocks in here um, that links to the months. It's pretty much the sidebar on the index and homepage. Um, and yeah, so I actually have this template for sale. Um, on my shop if that's something you're interested in all the legwork's been done for you I will probably update this a little bit more um, on my listing so it won't look exactly like this but if this is something you are interested in doing but your crunch um, you have a time crunch and can't do all these little things which I get we're all very busy so this would be a perfect template for you to use on for yourself or um, for your shop I will make this a commercial use um, available template so there's no limit you can um, you know uh, design it however you want change it however you want um, or even like sell it the way it, it, it is um, um, just as long as it's not the canva file um, I you can do whatever you want with this template um, so I'll have the link down below if that's something you're interested in um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks!